All right, so as we get around God's word, I trust that you will receive what you need to receive this morning. And today I'm dealing with a very important topic. All right, and listen very carefully to me. You have to condemn. I know this sounds strange, okay? You have to condemn. All right, let's go. Isaiah 54, 17. Now we use this, Christians use this so often. But they catch, uh, they miss the core of the scripture. Now, I was guilty of this. I've quoted the scripture many times. All right. Uh, growing up through my life. I mean, I was also part of it, you know. And we just quote the first part. But listen carefully to the scripture today. And I hope that this is going to help you. This is so necessary for this season that we are in. Let's go. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. How many times have you not used that verse before? No weapon formed against me is going to prosper. But yes, the condition. There is a condition to this verse. It says, and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. All right. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Now, I need you to understand the principle. People will speak about you or release a negative word over you. Now, they could say something negative about you. So you've got negative words projected at you. Number two, they might even condemn you. Number three, and this is where it starts getting very difficult. Number three is where there becomes a demonic agreement against you. What does that mean? It means when we agree with the demonic's plan against you. So in other words, somebody's offended with you. They come and tell me, I stand in agreement with that offense, and now we have become in agreement with what the devil's plan is over your life. Now, people say to me, no, well, I'm under the blood of Jesus. Everything's fine. I don't need... Let me tell you, God does not put that scripture in the Bible unless there's a reason that that is going to have an impact on your life. Now, I discovered the power of this only later in my life. I could have saved myself years of issues. You have got to understand, and we have to understand, that if you don't condemn the words spoken over your life, over your family's life, condemn them, they are going to have an impact in one way or another. So saints, I want to challenge each and every one this morning. Do not, do not neglect to break off every negative word that has been spoken over you or your family. I try, I'm not saying I get it right every day. I try and do it every single day of my life. Because there's always somebody who has something to say. All right? There's always somebody who says that we might be doing it wrong or don't like how we do it or has a comment on what we say. And so there's always somebody. But what we do is we condemn every negative word that has been spoken over us in Jesus' name. And we say, God, no weapon formed against us will prosper. And from the time that I recognize that, I have seen how things have shifted in my life. I have seen how God has protected my family from things that should have happened that didn't happen. And so saints, I want us to understand this. This is very important. That every one of us, need to see the power of God operating in our lives. And every one of us need to understand this. Amen? And so this morning, when we come around the table, let's thank God for the power that He has given us. Let us thank God for the anointing that He has given us. And so this morning, we are going to stand and believe God for the supernatural. We are going to see the power of God move in our lives like never before. So let's pray. 
Lord, I thank you right now for the supernatural move of your spirit in our lives. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of anything that we've done wrong, any wrong thought, action, motive, or intention. But God, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the power of your word. Thank you, Lord, that we are standing strong and we will fulfill what you've called us to do. And Lord, right now, I thank you that as we take of the elements, I thank you, Lord, that we will see the power of God made manifest in our lives. But Lord, I thank you that because of the price that was paid, we stand in authority. I pray for every believer that we will never, ever get slack and not condemn every negative word that has been spoken over us and our families in Jesus' name. And we thank you for this in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let us partake together. Lord, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus for your word, for your power, and for your glory to flow in our lives. Lord, I release the power of God over our physical bodies and I command every single symptom to go. Lord, I thank you that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for your blessing. And Lord, most of all, I thank you for healing us today in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. Update. Number one. All right, Lizelle and John's baby has not yet come. Okay, I'm getting messages again this morning. Has baby come? No, baby's still nice and warm and cuddly, okay, and comfortable. And so we are trusting that baby's going to be here soon. Number two, I really want to just wish Jenna a happy birthday. I didn't catch your surname, Jenna. I see that Jenna's just put on a comment that it's her birthday today. I really feel sorry for anybody who has birthdays in January. Um, I think it's actually worse than having it in December like I do. Um, but I want to just say happy birthday, uh, Jenna, and have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Now, I want to just say that it's Friday, and tonight I'm going to be teaching again. And I want to just say this. We are going to continue teaching and bringing the Word of God to you so that you can keep growing. All right. And please get ready, because as I said, many of the team are going to be moving across the nation this year. And we are going to get to you. We are going to come visit you. We're going to be in your areas. And remember this, I'm moving. With the election coming, we are going to be hitting these big uh, provinces, one event in every province. We will let you know by next week. I mean, where are we going to be in the times and the dates? So that you are aware of where we're going to be praying for the elections. Guys, we have to pray. This is critical time in our nation. And we need to be part of this in Jesus' name. Amen? All right. Israel tour. I just want to just say that uh, many have got nervous. Some people have asked if they could move the Israel trip, uh, one of the trips to next year. Okay? And they're booking for next year. So what I've done is I've combined the two trips going to Israel into one. We are leaving the 15th of March. We have got one trip this year. Okay. We're going to open up. People have already booked for next year. All right. So they're booking there. They think it'll be a bit, uh, they're a bit more comfortable doing it next year after all of the troubles over. So if you want to go to Israel with me, it's going to be from the 15th of March. That's the only one. We are doing Egypt. We are doing Petra. And we are doing Israel. Okay, so everybody who has gone and the people going um, there have said it's totally safe. Everything's fine. Our tour guide um, is coming with us. Okay, so they are coming with us. And it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful trip. So I want you please to be part of that um, if you can. Because it's going to be an experience. And why am I saying that it's quite okay to come now? Is because everybody's saying it's open, but there's not a lot of people. And so it's absolutely amazing to get to places where we can have more time to worship and really just seek God. Amen. All right. And then I want to say that the Turkey trip is now open. I'm going to Turkey. I'm doing the seven churches of, of uh, Revelation, as well as I'll teach on the book of Galatians and some of the other books that Paul wrote. 
just to give you an insight of what was going on at the time, where God uh, is being busy. And by now you know that if you come on any of these things, um, the teaching that we give you will change your life. Amen. Because it's just absolutely amazing the revelation that God gives us on these things. All right. So I want to just let you know, if you want to be part of that, please just go to Believers at Father's Heart and just send us, uh, um, just say that you're interested in one of the two trips, March the 15th. I think the May one, I can't remember the date of that, and I think it's the 5th, that one's to Turkey, okay? So Janine and I will be on these trips, and like I said, it's one big one going to Israel, and then we're going to do uh, another one to Turkey, okay? So I want you just to be aware of that. So, saints, we are praying, we are trusting God for this year, all right? And I want you please to, to pray with us this weekend. Because God, we're going to be dealing with the strategy for the new year, where we need to go, what we need to do, how we're going to do it, what God's saying to us, and what we can do to assist our nation in Jesus' name. Amen. So please, we've been really in a, a long time of praying about these things and really trusting God for a supernatural intervention for our nation. Let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray over our nation. We thank you for South Africa. We thank you, Lord, that you love us. And Lord, that you bless our nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, we call forth every prophetic promise, every prophetic word that has been spoken over our nation. We speak over our economy. We thank you, Lord, that our economy is blessed and prosperous. And Lord, I pray right now that no devil in hell will have his way over our nation. We release the power of God. We release the anointing of God. We release the glory of God over our nation. Father, I thank you, Lord, that our nation will never be the same again. And Lord, that there will be revival in our nation. I pray for our businesses. Thank you, God, that as we build altars, our businesses are strong and stable in the name of Jesus. And they are blessed because we are praying for them and lifting them up. And Lord, right now, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Lord, that you're going to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. And Lord, that we will not be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Lord, that as we come before you, Lord, that you are going to genuinely, Lord, minister to us and our nation and our families. Lord, we lift up our homes to you today. And Father, I thank you for your blessing in each and every suburb. Thank you, God, that we could raise an umbrella of prayer over this nation. Father, right now, I thank you for Israel. Thank you, Lord, that this war will come to an end quickly. Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural. And Lord, that this war will come to an end. And Lord, we pray for any person who has lost loved ones on either side. Father, I pray that you'll comfort those families in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, God bless you. Have an awesome, wonderful day. And let's do our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do in Jesus' mighty name. I love you lots.